father was that had the word sex in it. The title of the film did. had the word sex in it, and you took your father. Did we, all the other movies are sold out, and we were like, well, we'll just check this one out. <laughs> it was what was the other one? I am curious. No, yellow. No, Deep no, throat. And they Hold stayed on. for the whole two hours and four Behind minutes. the green door. <laughs> let's let's just go ahead and make this clear. She's house, trying so to blame on. this on her father. Her well, that's what fathers are for. <laughs> she's take the she's blame. sitting there going, "All the other movies were sold out," and we said, meaning we could together. My father. <laughs> how old were you at the time? I'm Alright. Here we go, Brooke. This is outfoxed with Brooke Fox. Brooke, there's the camera. What are you going to talk to about? Talk about tonight. Hold on, we give her eight minutes. Of this is this is hers. Well, wow. tell us reasonable silence. Yeah. Well, no, I just said today I printed up an article from New York Times. Oh, sorry. It's about it's called charitable the charitable giving of God. So it's just kind of an article about um, a study that someone did. You know. How come um, poor people tend to give more of their income? You know, a higher percentage of their income, I have like four percent, compared to people who have more money, who live, you know, the percentage of their income that they give to charity. So, what do you got to say about it? Yeah, go ahead, let's hear it. I want to hear this. Well, I just thought, you know, at first I thought this was going to be a, you know, you know screw the. Screw the rich people. You go, girl. You can't tell the difference between the decimal point and the That's right. Well, that's true. That boy. Very nice. Truth to the outside. That's right. That's my son. Sorry, go ahead. So what you're telling me is Joe Biden is poor? No, no. I mean, I was thinking it was going to be kind of, you know, an article that was saying, you know, rich people are kind of assholes and stuff. And so, you know. You were that's what I was hoping. You're yeah. hoping it would play into yeah. your That's why I decided to stay you're poor. You're hoping it would play into your left-wing agenda. Is what you were saying. Well, that's yes. I will okay. say that. I will sure. Admit to that. Well, that's yes. reasonable. But then um, there's nothing wrong with having an agenda. Yeah. yeah. But then this, um, and they're actually, I can't remember what University of California Berkeley. Oh God, Berkeley. California Stop Berkeley. <laughs> Rover went to California Berkeley. She went, went, went to where else would she go? California at Berkeley. Yeah, it was Fantasy land. Go okay, ahead. I'm listening. He, you uh, guys be quiet. I want to hear this. Dickie says we got to be quiet. Okay, this person did this social social psychology study of um, called at the Institute of Personality and Social Research. Um, they couldn't get a real job. <laughs> Go ahead. That's they sorry. tested lower class and upper class subjects with earnings ranging from around fifteen thousand to more than one hundred fifty thousand a year to see what kind of psychological factors motivated the well known differences. found that lower income people were more generous, charitable, trusting, and helpful to others than, than were those with more wealth. They were more attuned to the needs of others and more committed generally to the values of the Galatarians. And upper class people, on the other hand, wait a minute, is... I didn't say anything! They were, upper class people, on the other hand, come to We values, had a look! <laughs> yes, cool. that prioritize their own needs. And he told me this week, wealth seems to buffer people from attending to the needs of others. Empathy and compassion appear to be the key ingredients in greater generosity and so lower income. They can kind of see, you know, they're they are on the lower incomes and they can kind of understand people in the same predicament, so they're willing to give them money. Or, you know. Same what? And this and these mm -hmm. two traits prove to be frequently successful. So but anyway he says, um yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Does it doesn't work that well on camera. <laughs> Either just reading directly. That's like, that's like you getting on the air going, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> people would watch that. <laughs> people would watch it. Yada, yada, yada. Rich people suck. Go on. But he says that um, as people, he, people he studied who ended up, who were on the lower income and ended up making more money over time, ended up giving less. So it is kind of this idea of there's this. Well, that's direct correlation. Wouldn't you, yeah. wouldn't you feel that's because it's through. kind of an event horizon to all this? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you're poor and you're giving away your money, okay, you're just going to get more poor. Now, on the other hand, if the light comes on and you're taking that money that you're giving away and you're investing it, then you're going to get further ahead in life. So the light keeps coming on and you're going to go, hey, you know what? When I was poor, I had no business giving that money to anybody else. Sure. So there you have it. Well, you know, this is proof positive. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> did you see that? Did you? I know, Her that was classic. What? As in, did you really just say that? All right, now hold on. Now let's. Can I, can this, I, this proves out the old adage true. that there. Are, this proves out the old adage that there are lies, there are damn lies, and there are statistics. Sure. Because if I got a nickel, I give you a penny. I give you twenty percent of everything I have. That's true. If I'm a millionaire and I give you a hundred thousand dollars, I'm a cheap son of a bitch because that's only ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about proportion. Yeah. A, you know, you gotta have a sense of proportion. Did they here. mention the person that sent eight cents to Glenn Beck so he can hold his uh, eight twenty eight rally because that was all they could afford? Was that kind of was that thrown in there? Or was that left out? No. Poor people giving yeah, Glenn Beck. Where we come. Yeah. Sorry, Brooke. I didn't mean to sum up your whole. That was great. No, Brooke won. Well, no. I mean, if you're just kind of you got three minutes left. Tell us about how the rich people are killing America. No, no. I mean, this, the article ends not saying that that's. You know what else is interesting? They did. They divided people who people who would consider themselves liberal and people who consider them, themselves conservative. And discovered that people who listed themselves as conservative were more charitable than people who consider themselves liberal by thirty percent. Thirty percent. Now, the, the reason being is if you're if you're on the left, you think, well, that's what I, my government's for. That's, that's what, what I pay my taxes for. Well, you know the, what? the conservatives go, well, I pay the same taxes, but I also give. They give. They that's, still give away more money, exactly so I don't have to pay taxes. That's right. Yeah, so, I can, so I can deduct it off my taxes, That's and I can be one of these sons of bitches. That's you right. Know, we, in the United States, we have some of the richest poor people in the world. Oh, absolutely. Our, poor, our people that are below the poverty level, on average, have two cars in the driveway and a uh, right. 2.3 televisions. This in country with no poverty would jump up and oh, bit it on the ass. Poverty is a kid in Mumbai who literally doesn't know where his next bowl of rice is coming from yeah, and sleeps in the sewer. I mean, yeah, like, I agree. You know, I agree all hard. They are screwed. Fancy cars, and then they live in, you know, shitholes. And so Whoa. it's like, you know, there was a there was a there guy for ABC stuff. News <laughs> one day <laughs> during one day it was this was back during the Reagan administration, and he saw these people lined up outside of a soup kitchen. You know, the economy was still bad. The Reaganomics hadn't kicked in yet. Carter had just gotten out, and so he went up to find out how bad off these people really were. So he interviewed them, and he found out that a lot of them considered themselves poor because they had an old color TV set. Uh, but they still had basic cable, yeah. and my you know, and my car is sorry. eight years old, and I can't afford to buy a new one. And um, there's been several times, and this is this is this is not just happened once. I used to be a cashier in a grocery store before I joined the Navy. I saw people come through the line with food stamps and WIC checks, talking on a cell phone, wearing brand new sneakers. Don't get me started on that shit. I know. Don't even get me started on entitlement, you stupid son of a bitch. Don't draw me into that. I'm just kidding, man. Relax. That's why this when is I go a great to like country. a country like Costa Rica and stuff, and I think and I think about all you know the shit that is going shit. into you go, girl. Costa shit. Rica and other countries that I mean we're pouring this bad crap into their. I mean we're helping them with certain social things. We're you know? giving them very expensive poopies. But I mean you know like <laughs> we're, we're you know what? Them, Not like much. McDonald's. I mean about like, 50 we're, seconds. We're making them into us. Like the Give me a freaking break, man. Trust me. There's a reason. They want to be us. They want to be us. They before. want to be us. They want to be here. But I remember the time we, we, we would be driving the streets outside of San Jose, and there'd be these little kids in tatters standing in the middle street to get stuff. And we'd roll our window down, and we'd give them money, we'd give them shirts, we'd give them food. Things. We always brought stuff with us. Let's extra stuff to give them. I'm going to have an animal. All right. Anyway, that. Are you going to put your body on camera? You have to say goodnight to your fans. You have to say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on your good nights. Good call, Margo. That's uh, we gotta come back. We'll be right back with CobraRadio.com.